so much effort, lots of energy consumed yeah. to make the trek around this bullshit <laughs> body of water. And what do we get? There. We're uh, we're pretty up there, up in the wilderness, and uh, we're getting to some really cool backcountry lakes. Uh, good stocking programs have been going on in the area, which is key. And uh, hopefully, me and Luca over here put on a big smorgasbord display of some awesome fishing, catching some uh, lake trout, uh, brook trout, maybe, maybe even rainbows. Urban burbit uh walleye you know maybe if we get lucky we catch a, a nice looking mud puppy it's also minus 20 um all, all week. weekend yeah and uh mm -hmm. we're here for four days so three nights uh we're staying at a cabin but we're gonna be doing lots of fishing we're gonna be right next to it um so yeah we never really have any the best luck in this weather so we'll see i don't uh predict the smash but uh i don't know I guess we're gonna find out. It's gonna be a minus 20 adventure and we're gonna see how these fish bite and how they react. Even with being in such a remote area, are they still gonna be just as aggressive or and is that tough. cold front gonna shut them down? Yeah, we're gonna see. Tough, so we'll see. We'll see. Anyways, we're back. We're back. Stay tuned. Get ready for it. All right. Blue, blue dog out. Hey, what's going on there? my rocky zone friends we're here and we're getting rocky and we're getting in the zone stay tuned for a minus 20 adventure no, in the rocky it. zone it say it's minus 50 <laughs> it's minus 60 here in the rocky zone and we're going for some minus temperature fish they're going to be so cold they're going to come out stiff just like me every morning Are they? Oh, there they are. oh. Well, hey, how's it going? Oh, hey, hey man. Guys, ready? I need you guys to come in here right now. Come in here right Wait. now. Wait, till we tell you the info that we just, just received. Oh, well, guys, guys, I, I, oh shit, guys, I can't, I lost control of it. Yes, yes. Yes. <laughs> sideways, <laughs> sideways. Okay, T-bone. <laughs> What about just grab all this shit? No, 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 stop, there. stop. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's right. Oh no 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 the drill the drill the drill the drill stop 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 get to save the drill come on come on Dude, this is what Jesus. oh that's dangerous pull that front there there you go all right she's good so those guys right there are just set up in the 60 feet and uh we're gonna do our first day set up in the evening set up in uh about 35 30. um if we're gonna move tomorrow, who knows? But we do need to catch fish in order to stay, so. Now it's time. There you go. Practice doing it alone. Survival situation. You're alone, you gotta set up your own tent. There you go. That's how I do it. Watch the fish find there. All right, update. You're sunny as hell. Right Thanks, now. man. So I look, they look good. It's golden. Thanks, dude. Well, it's golden me, hour. Let me. Oh, look. Hello, how do I look now? Hey, Still look golden. Anyways, quick setup. You know the drill basically nothing and boring this for hours and then I'm just gonna show you the footage where we catch. This is gonna make it look like we're catching all day. So see you when we're catching. Alright. This is a good snack, eh? Very yeah. fishing, good idea. Yeah, it's a good snack. Alright guys, times are tough here and uh 
sometimes it's better just to take what you can get. So I'm trying to catch one of these minnows in this cup here. Um, you know, pretty can you catch one? Today. Do, try and get one. Try. Good one. I try. They're uh, they're not biting. Uh, maybe my bait's too big, but I want an aggressive one. Yeah. So as you guys could probably tell, um, it's bad out here. Uh, minus 30, minus 40 almost. This is our first kind of full day. Um, no bites last night, no bites this morning. Um, as you can see, we're just bouncing around holes, different depths, 30 feet, 50 feet, 80 feet, 120, 100 feet, nothing. It's tough to walk in as you're just walking through slush and snow. But we're gonna hit up some other backcountry lakes around here. Um, Personally, from experience, I don't think the fish is going to be good anywhere. Maybe a bit better, hopefully, but not good. It's it's crazy freezing. Um, it, the the pressure is bad. It's just I don't know. Typically, when it's really, 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 really cold, especially here, no bites. Hey. hey. What's happening, dude? What are we doing? So uh, I'm stumped on the first lake. We're going out to another lake that has some whitefish and perch. What are we doing if we get skunk? We're sacrificing Jesse to the fishing gods. <laughs> We're currently walking through a trap line just to uh, get to a backcountry lake. Got to make sure he doesn't catch the, the giant brews here. But it's better be worth it. That's all I gotta say. Whenever you hear someone say, oh, at least the views are nice, that's how you know you're not catching fish. <laughs> you just start talking about the scenery, so. <laughs> so many <laughs> rocks. Let's fight a lynx. Huh? Give me a lynx, buddy. I wanna fight you. Come here. You, you wanna fight a lynx? Ah, uh, I'll fight a lynx, no problem. Give me a lynx. Oh. bot it on the head with this thing. Wow, buddy. Yeah, okay. Come here. <laughs> Boulder, buddy. <laughs> this is, uh, as you can see, right at the end there. That's how far we had to walk. And uh, now we're just walking through a spot where the guide pointed us out. He's been wrong 100% of the time so far. So, for all this work gotta be something. This is a bunch of frustrated fishermen in but nowhere. Look at the beauty behind you there. It is nice. It's beautiful. We're just, we should have just went for a hike. <laughs> what are we doing here fishing, man? There's nothing. Minus 30. Psychopaths. We just get the beautiful scenery. About plenty of kilometers in but nowhere right now on a tiny lake with no fish. You're minus 30. Six hours, no fish. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Who would have fucking Could you imagine, as you're listening to this, whoever I'm showing this to, imagine being here right now in minus 30, catching no fish, five hours away from home with barely a heat source. And the guy who dropped us off here baits around here for wolves. Yep. Baits here for wolves. <laughs> oh, <damn. laughs> so when it's uh freezing as shit, gotta have a little safety tent set up. Just warming around the fire. Ice cold. Dude, day day two, like, nothing. We, we walk the same distance. Nothing. Day two, nothing. Backcountry lake, nothing. Shit don't make sense. Fuck. <laughs> oh boy. Nice view though. <laughs> <sighs> All right. I think I'm not making a fire. We gotta wait for our ride. 
Definitely making a fire. Just, uh, just another lonely night. Another quiet drive back. Another skunk. Another skunk. Got some action, but uh, we're gonna hit the we're gonna hit the drawing boards one last time. All right, good morning. It's our second last morning. Uh, there's still a skunk going on. Our plan is to move light, just find a fish, man. Spoke to a couple locals. Uh, didn't have the greatest things to say about this lake, but there's a chance. We're gonna make it a little more comfortable. I'm just walking the shore, gonna grab some firewood out of this terrible mountain. Set up a fire and just, just buzz. Everything's as dry as bones. There you go, that should be uh, at least an hour. All right, we're gonna set up the fire right here against this rock. Got a few twigs here. That should be enough for at least an hour. And I always carry, as I should, a little wafer in my bag, just in case I ever need to start a fire like this. Always a few, and then matches. So, this should get it going. There you go. So in cold weather, you always want the tiniest, these are even too big, but you always want the tiniest little twigs. This will catch a lot faster. And once you get a little bit of wind going, this, this isn't gonna stop. Can't really block that wind. It's coming from the other side, but I'm gonna set up a couple lines just over here and here and uh, chill and eat some noodles. We got this team effort. We got everybody on the fire. There's nothing else to do when you're not catching fish. <laughs> you guys are going there? I was gonna go here. Sure. Oh, yeah, actually. Yeah, screw, yeah, screw that guy, dude. Going where the birch are. Oh, yeah. Huh? Yeah. I see it. Hey, bear. Oh, yeah. It's all 2 o'clock. It's been about 3 4 hours. Nothing. This weather just uh, shuts them off wherever you go. I don't know if you guys uh, who have sleds, they're gonna go to a bunch of different lakes, but if they don't catch, then the statement stays true. They're just off right now. I'm just chilling. Couple rods out. They're out there trying to find them. Drilled some holes in that funnel there. A little bit sketchy ice still, mid January, which is crazy. But, yeah, I don't know, we need a miracle. Dude, chill, man, relax, enjoy. <laughs> Holy fuck. All right, update. Absolutely nothing. Holes here, we got a little funnel. 90 feet, go to 110, go to 30, go to 60, go to 70. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> We're, at, we're all over the place, just grinding and zero results. So much effort, lots of energy consumed yeah. to make the trek around this bull <laughs> body of water. And what do we get? There. <laughs> oh boy. Just make fires on the lake everywhere. That's all we're doing. Just uh, chuck in the, uh, the 
Oh, this is gonna be great. Dude, look at this. Look what's going on. What am I? You're insane. Can't break it, Matt. See what happens when you miss the full whistle. They're gonna smash it down. We're gonna fall right through. This is incredible right here. There's like so many ways to snap that. Well, you just hold the camera. I'm not helping, dude. That's, if you guys don't know how to break that, it's on you. Can you put a little hump? I did. I had a lot of effort. Yeah. Well, you guys did way more effort. Nick, fix two things. Here, I got this. No, dude, here, here. Look at that, uh, look what it looks like when you catch no fish. Low morale. Satisfier. Test. Yeah, I break too, man. Oh, grab it! Jasper, but you don't learn, eh? Bro, look at my, look at my hand, dude. <laughs> my hand's mangled now, dude. Let's stay out here and just... We'll catch yeah, one. Good idea. Why don't you catch fish? Did you catch fish, dude? <laughs> I caught lots of fish. Guys, I'm well on my way to winning with a perch. <laughs> well on my way. A four-inch perch. Well on my way. Hey, you gotta put on the trophy. One with a four-inch perch. <laughs> and, uh, this is it. Hope you guys enjoyed that. We're gonna do some fun stuff at the cabin. Hey, okay. you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, yeah. And uh, no idea. This is one of the worst fishing trips we've ever had in this many days. Terrible weather, horrible lakes. No idea, man. Please comment below if you guys have ever smashed fish in like minus 30 weather. I need to know because this is a nightmare. All right, it's the last morning. We have a champion for uh, an eight inch perch. One fish was caught this weekend by me. Absolute, our worst trip ever. Oh. Jesse, what do you have to say? That's why they call it fishing, not catching. Boys, next year, no what dumb. are we not bringing? The dumbest thing I've ever experienced in my life. This is the, this is the worst trip. The worst thing The I've worst ever trip. Fucking... We're not bringing bananas next year. <laughs> for fuck's sakes. You want to video tape me yes. eating a banana? Yeah. yeah. Just end it. End it on Nick just eating a banana. Staring out the window. <laughs> <laughs> so, so nice view though. Nice views though, guys. Lots of good scenery we saw. <laughs>